good kids game has to be a good game. And in 2019, Amigo Games published a great kids game that will appeal to anyone who likes Push Your Luck style games. That game is Bear Down by designers Stefan Klaus and Anna Oppelford. I'm Steve Tassi, the board game guy, and I'm here to tell you about the game of Lucky Bears and Unlucky Salmon. Bear Down is a game for two to four players ages six and up, but it's best with a full slate of four players, in my opinion. And adults will enjoy this game as much as kids will, so don't let the six plus label push you off. It owes its existence to the Spiel des Jahres winner, Niagara. And if you've ever played Niagara, you will know what I mean instantly when you see Bear Down. The board is placed on top of the box and the river flows down off the edge, just like it does in Niagara. The board is divided into several areas, bare rock on top, the pool at the bottom, and the river that flows them, which is divided into five separate streams. Each stream is color-coded to one of the five dice, and there are barriers in different spots between the streams. Always use one more stream than the number of players, so all five in a four-player game. Don't use the bottom stream in a three-player game, and in a two-player game, don't use the top or the bottom streams. Remove the dice for any of the streams that you're not using. Count out 10 river tiles and place them underneath the big rock token. These may be needed at the end of the game. Place six river tiles in each of the five streams. Some of them will be hidden underneath bare rock. Place one salmon token on the river tile just before the edge of the waterfall on each stream and put the rest of the fish down in the pool. Each player puts their bear on bare rock and takes the token that represents their bear. Player one takes the first bear token and the five dice. The first player rolls the dice and each stream gets moved according to the results of the roll. For every rear symbol on a stream die, the corresponding stream gets a tile slid into it underneath bear rock. Any fish that are forced off the waterfall by the movement of the stream go back into the pool. Any tiles that get forced off are removed from the game. If a bear goes off the edge, then they are placed back on bare rock, but any fish that they had with them when they went over the edge stay down in the pool. Once the river movement is done, place new fish on the streams according to the dice. The first fish goes on the spot closest to the edge of the river, and then the next fish on that same stream goes up one tile, and so on. If there happens to be a bear in a space that should have a fish on it, skip over that space and put the fish on the next river tile upstream. Once the dice have been resolved, the first player moves their bear onto the river. Then each player in turn moves their own bear. When moving your bear, you can go as far as you like, but you must stop on the first space you come to that is occupied by one or more fish. You also cannot move through the rock barriers or through spaces occupied by other bears. Once each player has made its move, the first player token moves to the next player clockwise around the table, and you do another round. If a bear moves back to bear rock with fish in hand, they bank the fish. But until they are firmly on bear rock again, the fish that they carry can still be lost if they ever go over the edge of the falls. Play continues until either the pool of fish is insufficient to resolve the dice roll, or the last of the regular river tiles gets used up. If the dice roll requires the use of more tiles than the regular supply has, take the remainder from the reserve pile underneath the big rock token. Once you've resolved the river, you finish the round. However, if the pool runs out of fish and you cannot stock the streams, you immediately end the game. Fish that your bear has banked are worth one point each, and any fish that your bear is carrying while still in the river at the end of the game is worth half a point. Bear Down takes the coolest parts of Niagara, changes the theme a little bit, and gives a simplified game experience that, while it owes a lot to the older game, improves upon the original, in my opinion, and provides streamlined fun that doesn't outstay its welcome at the table. 
I'm Steve Tassie, the board game guy. Thanks for watching, and hopefully you will bear down for midterms.